This tutorial will show you how to change the default box art generated by RetroArch on your iPhone or iPad. In this video, I'm using a game cartridge style box art. This works whether you're using the default theme or any other theme. This is the Retrorama theme. Check out my other tutorial if you want to learn how to install it. Adding custom box arts can be a tedious process because you will need to manually change it for each game. Before you begin, you'll need to run RetroArch, add your ROMs, import content, and open each console so the default box art generates. Now we'll need to find the custom box art. I like to use LaunchBox Games Database. It includes many different box art styles you could choose from, but you could source your own art elsewhere. For LaunchBox Games Database, I created a shortened link at bit.ly slash boxartdb or you could go to the full link in the description box. So search for your game. Find the correct game and click into it. Press on images. Scroll through the images and find one that you like. I'm using the cartridge style box art. Long press the image and press download linked file. Press on the blue download icon and go to downloads. Click on the magnifying glass to open the files app. If you don't want to use LaunchBox Games Database and you want to use your own art, find the art, long press it, press save to photos. Now open the photos app and locate photo. Press on the share button on the bottom left corner, scroll down and press save to files. Save it to the downloads folder. You may need to press back until you see on my iPhone. Then open the downloads folder and press save. So now the custom art is in the downloads folder of the files app. Press on the three dots on the top right corner and press select and select the image. Press the move button, the folder icon on the bottom center of the screen. Open the retro art folder. You may need to go back until you see on my iPhone and press into it to see the RetroArch folder. Open RetroArch. Scroll down to thumbnails. Open the console for the game. Open named box arts. Now press move on the top right corner. Now we will need to go into the named box arts folder and rename the image file that we just moved. So press back and open the RetroArch folder. Open RetroArch. Scroll down to thumbnails. Open the console. Open named box arts. Now we will rename the custom box art. It needs to be exactly the same as the current box art name. So long press the current box art. Press rename. Long press the text. And hit copy. Press done. You will now need to delete the current box art because you cannot have two of the same file names. So long press the current box art and press delete. Long press the custom box art and press rename. Long press the text and press paste. Press done and that's it. If we open up RetroArch and go to the game, you'll see it uses the new custom box art now. You'll need to repeat this for all of your games. That's it. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you out. 